Welcome to my show. I'm Barry Louise Switzen. The Women's Connection is a program about women connecting with women. Our guest today is a woman who has been doing her thing for a long time and enjoying every moment of it. I would like to introduce Daphne Hellman. Daphne, welcome. I'm so glad to see Thank you. you. Thank Barry. you, Barry. Thank you for coming. Wonderful to be here. Thank you. What exactly do you do to keep yourself so young? Well, uh, I play the harp. I'm a harp nut. You're a harp I, nut? Yes. I, uh, not that I practice so much. I, I try and have an audience. I'm a big ham. <laughs> so I like to play in the subway. In the subway. Uh, that's the best place to play in because uh, in a concert, sometimes I get very nervous and I miss notes. Uh -huh. I hate to tell you this. But, uh, <laughs> it's hard to believe. <laughs> but in the subway, there's no problem because people listen as long as they can. And, right. and uh, most of them are quite intrigued because the harp is a funny looking instrument. It has quite a beautiful sound. It's so one of my favorite instruments. Good. <laughs> but how did you get started playing in the subway? Um, well, it's, it's kind of a long story. It goes back because I, I had a friend in Paris, uh -huh. uh, an artist, and he said, why don't you, instead of playing nightclubs, why don't you play in the subway? And he got me playing in the metro. Uh -huh. And I was, I was playing with this French girl who played fiddle. I don't like to play alone, except I, I played alone the other day, and, and it was great fun. <laughs> um, and I played with Mr. Spoons, uh -huh. who I met in the subway system. Mr. Spoons is a spoon champion of the world, and he lives in my house. Oh. He works at Macy's, which he, uh, for extra money. Uh, and then he plays the Spades, spoons. Plays the spoons. With he you. Goes, and yes, and then he goes to Germany. He'll play for uh, six months, and then he'll go to Japan, and then he'll come back and play in the subway. That's so work wonderful. At Macy's. But how do you transport your harp from your place to the subway? Well, Barry, I have to have a slave. I can't carry it myself. <laughs> but I have a small harp that has a wonderful sound. Uh -huh. And uh, a strong man can carry it. It weighs about 50 pounds. That's pretty and so, heavy. So it is. But if you go down the steps, then you take the escalator down. And there's that platform that goes from Lexington Avenue to 3rd Avenue. And there are often quite a few people there. Uh, I, when I played there the other day, though, the police came up and I had some cassettes. I said, uh, you selling those? I said, yes. Much five and he pulled his badge out. Oh. I'm, I'm a police. He <laughs> said, I'll let you go this time. Well, as, long that was... as, as long as you don't sell any cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't nice of him. No. I thought he was going to buy one from you. Uh, no, he acted as though he was going to. That's why. Well, how many cassettes do you have? Oh, I have four different cassettes. One, well, two country cassettes, mm -hmm. uh, or, or rather, two jazz cassettes. One country, and one baroque. And uh, uh, do you have one with you today? Is this your new one? Oh, this is my new CD. Uh huh. And that's called Hellman's Angels Gala, and it has a combination of. Baroque. Oh, well, we'll have to get this on a close-up shot here. The titles are all there. I do some Scarlatti, and I do some um, King of the Road for the country, and, and uh, uh, then a lot of jazz standards like Honeysuckle Rose, and How High the Moon, and uh, um, Billy's Bounce, and all sorts of different stuff. Now, you've played with some very important people. Or who have, or well, they, uh, my Hellman's Angels, who are on that record, is Eddie Berg, who's a mean Marine, and he's probably the best guitarist in the country. And Lynn Christie is a wonderful bass player. And we play together a lot. And now I'm doing more playing alone because people can't afford us. They can't afford <laughs> no. you? That's not fair. <laughs> I know. Well, uh, I get together with Lynn and Eddie. We play the Metropolitan Museum, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes uh, concerts out in Long Island where they seem to be able to afford us. That's great. Yeah. But now that you've got a CD, people can hear you all the time, which is great. Well, they can. <laughs> they buy one. <laughs> now, some of the, who you've uh, performed with some uh, famous people in your past? Oh, I know who you're thinking about. Harper Marx. 
Now, what was he like? He was wonderful, uh, but he was an accomplished pianist, and he was taking lessons from my teacher, Mildred Dilling. Uh, and anyway, she got us together uh, on somebody's birthday, uh -huh. and Harpo played the piano while I played the Mozart's uh, concerto for flute, harp, and piano go da 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 But anyway, he knew he he's a perfect musician. Just knew what he was doing. Oh, that must have been fun to play with him. Yes. Oh, yes. Who are some of the other famous performers you've performed with? Oh well, let's see. I did with Dizzy Gillespie once, just for a jam session, and um, oh, let me see. I can't remember now, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you've been playing for a long time. I think something I read that you started at 12 years old uh, because your mother yes, made you... Yes, I started you... With tw uh, at 12 years old. And I was delighted because it was such a glamorous-looking big gold instrument, bigger than the one I play now, now in the subway I play. The little one? Convenient little harp, which has a nice sound to it. Well, how many harps do you have? Well, I have about... Uh, Twelve, I guess. I rent one out and... and Twelve harps? Twelve harps, yes. Uh, one lives in my car. Uh-huh. One lives at uh, uh, a little uh, cafe around the corner called Favia, where um, they, uh, it sits there and I play it when I get in the mood and when I have time. <laughs> and let's see, where else? Uh, oh, the Wales Hotel. And that's not my job. It belongs to Park Stickney, who's the best harpist in the country. And he rents a room from me and lets me play some of his jobs. So uh, that's a nice arrangement. That is nice. Keep you, keep you the, in? Yes, because they're the harpists uh, at the Wales. Mm -hmm. And so all I need to do is to go and tune it and play. It lives there. Now, you tune the harp yourself? Oh, yes, you have to. You're a harpist. <laughs> okay. Now, I've never played an instrument, so I don't yeah. know, you know. Well, it's not like tuning a piano, because the um, notes of uh, gut strings or nylon, and they go down in damp weather, so you have to be prepared to tune it all the time. Not well, all the time. But, well, I'm uh, tone deaf, so I would never make it. <laughs> 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 now, do you, well, obviously you do enjoy playing the harp, otherwise you wouldn't be continuing it all over the place yes. with 12 harps, at least. But do yes. any of your children play the harp? Uh, no, my daughter started, but then uh, she got playing piano. Now she plays sitar, the Indian instrument. She's very good. And she teaches and she studies with Ali Akbar Khan and she plays at the Metropolitan Museum. And, and uh, you know, she's... I'm she's, gonna uh, look for her. Extraordinary. Any misty. How they can get your CD? Is it in the stores? Oh, I see. It's not in the stores. I have to peddle it, or you can write to me. Uh, I'm going to have to distribute it. I'm not okay. sure quite how we start that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we can start right here. You know, if anybody wants to uh, get a CD, you can either contact Afni Hellman, or you All can right. contact me, Great. and we can get you that. How much is Thank it? Thank you, Bonnie. It's 15 bucks. Okay. And. Uh, 
And it's going to be on the market soon. I, I'm, I think Barnes & Noble may distribute it for me. Well, you should have a CD signing party there. Yeah, I probably will. Thank you. Thank you for the idea. I I'm think ready. Because so. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll come and have you sign a CD for me and say, I knew her well. All right, Bonnie. <laughs> there it is. You get a free one. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us. I'm so glad, Daphne, you were able to join us. And we look forward to hearing from you. Please write me, The Woman's Connection, Barry Switzen, Ansonia Station, Post Office Box 918, New York, New York, 10023. And I have an email address of Barry, B-A-R-R-I-E-N-Y-C, at worldnet dot A-T-T dot N-E-T. Look forward to hearing from you. Take care. <laughs>